Hey everybody, welcome to Priddle Monday. Monday, the best day of the week. Priddle Monday, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. I want to welcome everybody today for another Priddle Monday. What are Priddle Mondays? Priddle Mondays is where we work on puzzles and riddles collectively uh, in order to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts usually have some type of code or cipher or some type of lateral thinking in order to solve the puzzle. And that's the kind of thing we're trying to get better at here. By working on puzzles and riddles, we can get better at our vocabulary, our lateral thinking, our outside the box thinking, and then we can get better at those armchair treasure hunts. I'm still trying to get better at those. Uh, today, I would like to work on riddle riddle, says Lori James. Today, we're going to start with some riddles. However, later, I'm going to do my first cryptic crossword live stream and we can see how bad I am at cryptic crosswords. But hopefully we can get them better to get better at them together. Cryptic crosswords use a lot of different types of wordplay that I've seen in some uh, armchair treasure hunts. And it's one of those things where this wordplay I think will help us out better in the long run. <laughs> Cookies matter, says Sassy. Hey, Evan Penn, I'm glad you can make it. So here on Purtle Monday, if you have puzzles or riddles that you would want me to work on on a future show, email me at ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. I also have a Discord channel. Uh, if you would like to do Purtle Monday over voice over the internet, similar to Skype, you can do that. Uh, the Discord channel is in the description box below. Hey, Silver Fox. Glad you can make it. And we will go ahead and get started. We're going to work on riddles first and then a cryptic crossword later in the show. Let's see how we go. We're going to start with RiddleWatt, my favorite riddle website. Hey, Evan Penn. We have a nine character word, probably one word, and the riddle is three men up, one man around, two men down, one man out. Who's the one man? Okay, then. Three men up, one man around, two men down, one man out. Three up, one man around, two men down, one man out. Who is the one man? <laughs> it's cookie time. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Silver Fox. We're here for our emoji cookies. So our riddle is a nine-character word. Uh, this is RiddleWatt, my favorite riddle website. I like it because these are sort of user-generated riddles. These are usually ones you can't sort of search online to find. Uh, and if you can solve the front page riddle, this is actually the front page riddle, uh, you then have the opportunity to put your own riddle on the front page, and that's how they develop a, a backlog of, I think it's over a thousand riddles on this website. And this is my favorite one for riddles. Sassy says it's the baseball game, the batter. Three men up, one man around, two men down, one man out. Who's the one man? So you're thinking it's... B-A-T-T-E-R is six letters, or the batter. Oh, I see. The batter is what Sassy's guessing. That has nine letters. That's two words, but it's not always clear if it's one word or two words. All right, it's not the batter. Uh, generally, we're not able to access the answer to these riddles. However, I have enough points or coins or whatever this website uses where I can look at the first letter of the answer, or I can, I have like five riddle unlock keys, I think. Nine letters. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Lori James says pitcher. P-I-T-C-H-E-R. Uh, can't be the pitcher. Three men up. One man around. Two men down. One man out. Who's the one man? So if it's baseball related, I could try the runner. R-U-N-N-E-R. -N -N -E it's not the runner. We are working on the assumption that this is a baseball related. Three men up, one man around, two men down, one man out. Maybe it's cricket related? I mean, 
Cricket has... Oh, goodness. I'm, I'm not great with Cricket, but... No, they don't have the three outs. It's overs, and... Uh, they do have batters. And they have... Was it tossers? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're having some trouble with this one. Three men up, one man around, two men down, one man out. Who's the one man? So we're thinking it's not a metaphor for something else, these men, man and men. Evan Pence is a toughie. Three men up. One man around, two men down, one man out. Who's the one man? Alrighty. Let's see if I can go to the help. First letter of the answer. Okay, we're going to refresh. See if we can get the hint. Do I wish to proceed? Yes. First letter is an A. Three men up, one man around. Two men down, one man out. Who's the one man? Could it be a pitcher or a runner? P-I-T-C-H-E-R. Alphabet. Nope, it's not too many letters. Starts with an A. Three men up, one man around, two men down. All right, I'm, now I'm thinking, is it like the letters in man, around, men, down? Is there some like hidden word within the clue? Around itself is seven letters. Around it. Around two, mm, not sure. I'm gonna look at the answers that have been incorrect. The ones that begin with A. It's not announcer. Announcer is the only one that someone has already guessed that hasn't, it starts with an A. Three men up, one man around, two men down, one man out, who's the one man? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see what the answer is. Let's see if I can figure out. Help. I've got five unlock keys. We're going to unlock. You currently do wish to proceed. Yes, the answer is I cannot unlock a front page riddle. Oh, can't unlock a front page riddle. All right, so we're going to have to move on. It begins with an A. Someone down and out. Ah. Three up. One around, two down, one out, down and out. Up, around, down and out. Sassy says apprentice. Did I misspell it? Is apprentice with one? Astronaut? Apprentice looks like it's 10 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Astronaut. Astronaut is not the right answer. Someone down and out. Vagabond. I'm looking at some a synonym for a homeless person. I don't see one that begins with an A. Runner up. Oh, like second place. Three men up, one man around. Two men down, one man out. Who's the one man? 
a runner up. Well, now when you say runner up, now I'm thinking like a relay race. Evan Penn says aqua lungs. Okay, aqua lungs. It is not aqua lungs. All right, we're we're just gonna have to move on. <laughs> We will go, let's see, I think I, I'll try this. Uh, riddles, newest. Okay. Uh, announcer was already in the list of ones that people have tried, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Next riddle, presenting the scoreboard in an argument. Now, this is a six-letter word. Presenting the scoreboard in an argument, what do they have in common? Presenting the scoreboard in an argument, what do they have in common? A six-letter word. Presenting the scoreboard In an argument. I'm going to throw in points. Oh, points. I got it. <laughs> points. I got it. I'm getting a cookie. For me. <laughs> All right. I'll move on to the next one. Uh, let's see. Riddles, newest. All right. Points, cuts, and the accompanying soundtrack. What do they have in common? Points, cuts, and the accompanying soundtrack. And you get to you get to you get to see me uh, eat my cookie and listen to my cookie. <laughs> cookie for you, Lori James. Oh, Lori James got points too. You got it. There you go, Lori. <laughs> Five letter word points, cuts, and the accompanying soundtrack. What do they have in common? <laughs> points, cuts, and the accompanying soundtrack, what do they have in common? Score. I like it, Evan Penn. Nice. Cookie for Evan Penn. Mm. So I actually got it just a little bit too late. All right, next one. In recreation, can be good or bad, happens when assets get mad. Six letter word. In recreation, can be good or bad happens when assets get mad. Assets makes it think there's some type of financial term. Depreciate is way too many letters. In recreation can be good or bad, happens when assets get mad. Lori James says muscle. Okay. All right, it's not muscle. Hey, Huli, glad you can make it. I'm just going to put crumbs all over me. <laughs> Huli made it. And recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. William, what's up? And recreation can be good or bad. Exercise, like in options. 
No, too many letters for exercise. Execute. No, that doesn't make any sense for for recreation. In recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. Lori James says tempers. Okay. Oh, plural. Except we've only got tempers, uh, temper is six letters. So it could be a five letter word that should be plural. Well, we just had points. <laughs> I'll throw points in there. <laughs> I like that it's, it's plural though. Happens when assets get mad. Well, maybe not necessarily. Assets. Yeah, William, I'm thinking it's like financial. There's some type of financial term. Six letters. In recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. I'm going to look up some of the wrong answers. It's not secret, not humor, not chance, not random. Random I liked. Satire, rained, settle, secede, stress, simple, danger. Losses. L-O-S-S-E-S -S -E -S from Lori James. Ah, it's not losses. I like that one. Hooli says ration. Sassy says racket. Okay. There's the financial angle. Yep, we just tried losses. That, that was good. I, I like that angle, William. But Lori James had that one. I'm still eating my cookie from my solving the riddle. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the first letter. Okay, I've got to refresh it. Let's see if we can get the first letter. 50 coins. S. Tied up, says Sassy. Can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. That's a, that was a good idea there, Sassy. Uh, the first letter is an S. Your multitask sucks. All right. <laughs> In recreation can be good or bad. Sports. Nope. Begins with an S. In recreation can be good or bad. Oh, stocks. S-T-O-C-K-S. Okay, maybe it's not plural, though. <laughs> maybe I'm, now I'm thinking back. Maybe it's not plural. Evan says shorts. Yes. That's a financial term. Oh. Oh, man. Stocks. Oh, did I, I think I just tried stocks, but I'll do it again. I like shorts, too. Mm, it's a good cookie. Let me look at the answers that had S's. It's not settle. It's not secede. It's not simple. It's not stress. It's not secret. Hmm. In recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. Christopher Robbins says stunts. Silver Fox says splits. Stunts. Blitz? No. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the answer. I'm going to use one of my riddle unlock keys. In recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. Christopher Robbins says stalls. S-T-A-L-S. No. I see this financial angle and the recreation angle, though. Steals? No, it's not steals. 
Huli says strain, S-T-R-A-I-N. It's not strain. In recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. Stalls was going, yep. Stalls worked for both recreation and the assets. All right, here we're going to go. We're going to get the answer. Answer is strike. In recreation can be good or bad. Happens when assets get mad. Oh, assets, in this case, being employees. Oh. Strike was the answer. In recreation can be good or bad. Strikes can be bad if you're good or bad in between pitcher and batter in baseball. Also, bowling happens when assets get mad. Assets, they're thinking people. Well, I don't know if it was that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, if it's worthy of a duh answer. <laughs> okay, the groan and oh yeah, okay. I'm I'm leaning towards more of that. But at least you can see where they were going. The writing a riddle. You're trying to take these words and they have multiple meanings. I can see where they were going. Although I I'll admit assets, not the greatest, but I can see where they were going with this. At least. All right, let's see the next one. Newest. I walk eight feet with every step. And this is a six letter word. I walk eight feet with every step. Hmm. Bowling strikes are good, right? How did we miss? Well, I, I can, the assets I think threw us. I wasn't thinking that it would be employees and strike. That employees who can, can strike when they're in a... Uh... <clears throat> what do you call them? Those labor unions. La unions. Spider. No, the answer was strike. Strike was the answer. I walk eight feet... Oh, unless this is the... Oh, eight feet. Spider. Oh, okay. Oops. I saw... <laughs> I saw the six-letter word that began with an S, and it made me think something else. <laughs> All right, yeah, Huli got it, too. You had guessed mutiny. Oh, okay. All right, but Lori James got it. Lori James gets a cookie. Should have thought of strike. Well, I'm... I might have been pushing everybody in the wrong direction when I saw assets and I was thinking financial, although employees is kind of related to financial. Yeah, Hooli got spider, but uh, Lori James got it first. All right, we're going to do, we'll do another one. Riddles, newest. The more you ignore me, the stronger I will become. The stronger I become, the more empty you feel. If I grow too strong, you will soon be gone. What am I? Six-letter word. The more you ignore me, the stronger I will become. The stronger I become, the more empty you feel. If I grow too strong, you will soon be gone. What am I? Sassy says hunger. Hunger is correct. I, I was guessing breath there for him, but I wasn't sure. Sassy got it. So the more you ignore me, we're talking about hunger is the answer. The stronger I will become, the stronger I become, the more empty you feel. Okay, there's hunger. If I grow too strong, you will soon be gone. What am I? Nice. Cookie for Sassy. All right, we will keep going with this. Newest. All right, five-letter word. I am quite useful if you want to get organized. I can help you find things at a glance. I can be put on pretty much anything, but on people I can sometimes cause offense. Okay, it doesn't actually rhyme. <laughs> all good.
good, Sassy. We had a similar one to that one to this one before. Yeah, it's very possible. We we uh, even with these that are kind of user generated, they might have copied something from the internet to put up there. I'll admit I'm too uh, I'm too scared to put up a riddle of my own. <laughs> I'll I'll admit that. Label. Looks like two people have guessed label. L A B E L. Answer is correct. The answer is label. I am quite useful if you want to get organized. I can help you find things at a glance. I can be put on pretty much anything, but on people I can sometimes cause offense because people don't like to have labels put on. Okay, I can see that. All right, who had it first? Evan Penn got that first cookie for Evan Penn. Glass. I can see you're going with glasses, maybe. Mm hmm. Why scared of posting a riddle says go for it? Well, then I have to come up with one on myself, Huli. <laughs> You're unorganized? Uh, we all have cases where we're unorganized. How many hours does it take for the Earth to orbit the sun? How many hours does it take for the Earth to orbit the sun, says Christopher Robin? Well, 365 days times 24, whatever that number is, hopefully. Unless you were trying to trick me to say 24 hours. Because I can see where that's... I've done riddles long enough. It's like, don't think of the first thing that you put that you think of. Because that was probably... The way riddles work is they lead you into one direction when they actually you're supposed to go in the other one. <laughs> but I see where you're going with that, Christopher Robin. You're trying to... Everybody would see that. So boom, 24 hours. All right, we'll do another one. After a slow start, we're going... We're getting better. All right, 10 characters. Probably one word, but it could be two words. Plus five. With 80 clunks to every ring, I was once a common thing. Though nowadays I'm hard to find, what you now touch brings me to mind. Okay, this one rhymes. 10 characters. Could be two words. Most likely is one word, though. With 80 clunks... To every ring, I was once a common thing. Though nowadays I'm hard to find, what you now touch brings me to mind. Is it telephone? Oh, okay, somebody said typewriter. Sassy says typewriter. Answer is typewriter. With 80 clunks to every ring. Oh, da 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 da. And then shitting. Da 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 da. Shitting. Is that 80, 80 clunks? Answer was typewriter by Sassy Got. I was going to guess telephone. But I'm guessing 80 clunks for every line. 80 characters per line. And then, yeah, shitting. I think I only know that from like Bugs Bunny cartoons or something like that. Cookie for Sassy. Yeah, dial phone. I was going to think telephone. All righty. All right, so we are now going to go to a cryptic crossword. Cryptic crosswords are a little different from, I'll say, American-style crosswords. There is a definition side, similar to American crosswords, where there's a definition side, but there's also wordplay where you can try to get the answer using either the definition side or the cryptic side, or if you can get one or maybe can help you with the other one. It uses forms of wordplay, things we even see in, in um, armchair treasure hunts, things like anagrams, hidden words where you've got a word that starts at the end of one word and then it begins with the next one. Uh, what other ones? Containers. You've got one word inside of another. Now, this is supposed to be an easy one, and I have the answers available to uh, to obtain, and I think I'm going to have to get a lot of these answers. But I am accepting all help, even if we're not working on a particular line. I'm Whatever you see, and you want to make a guess, say one across or one down in the in the chat, I accept all help. 
Although the answers are available to me, I can I have in this website. This is a uh, easy cryptic crosswords. Uh, I'm accepting all the help, but I want to work on these because I think these are great for wordplay and learning some of the examples of wordplay that are in cryptic crosswords. Cryptic crosswords are m more popular in um, England and Australia than they are in the United States. So there are certain things, like if they say, I, I was doing one with Sweetie before, and they said north of the border. Now, when, I, when we think north of the border, we think Canada. In that case, it was Scotland. And there are things like we had cricket before, or cricket terms, uh, rugby terms, um, football or soccer, as we call it in the United States, where we might not have these terms available to us, and it makes it a little harder. But in my, my opinion, working on these cryptic crosswords will really help us more than any other type of puzzle for, um, for working out. All right. Sassy says four down is unforgettable. Unforgettable. All right. Nat King Cole song that will always be remembered. Always be remembered. Okay, I think that's a double definition because it's both the Nat King Cole song and always be remembered means unforgettable. So that's what's called a double definition. And that's four down. Let me just make sure just to confirm. Okay, I might have, I think I had a typo, but it fixed my typo for me. Thank you, Sassy. All right, there are things like anagrams and there are indicator words that will help you tell, that will tell you if you're using the cryptic side in order to figure out the clues. There, uh, anagrams usually have uh, mixed up. Uh, let me see what else we got. Mixed up, abnormal, bad, astray, assortment, arrange, mixed up. These kind of things will, uh, I'm gonna see if I can find any of these indicators for anagrams. Don't quite see one yet. At least not an obvious one. These are supposed to be an easy one. Easy cryptic crossword, but that's still. News broadcast that stitch together. News broadcast that's stitched together. That makes me think it's a hidden word where we got one word, continues on to the next one. News broadcast. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> 11 across is Celia. Another name for Alice Turner, Celia. Another name for Alice Turner. Oh, okay. So you take Alice and you anagram Alice and you get Celia. Where Turner is the Alice turned around. Celia anagrammed. Let me just make sure. Yep. Okay. See, Sassy's got it. So sometimes they're anagrams. General disorder that swell. Okay, I'm thinking disorder is an anagram indicator and we're supposed to anagram general. That's swell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm looking for a word that means general. I mean, a word that means swell and it's an anagram of, oh, it's a common crossword question. Okay, uh, do you work on cryptic crossword or, or uh, traditional, I'll call them American style crossword, Sassy? I'm gonna look for synonyms of swell. General. Mm. I don't see any anagrams of general there. So maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, Turner, when you turn around. Okay, you, you it was an indicator. Alice Turner. Probably there isn't an actual person, but the Turner is the indicator word of cryptic. Great, you work on cryptic crosswords. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> but I want to get better at these. And the only way to get better is to um, to do them. Because I've I've been watching like YouTube videos and things. Evening and large. Enlarge, that's swell. Swell enlarge. Okay, how come enlarge wasn't uh okay. 
become larger and large. Nice Sakar. E N L A R G E. Let me just confirm. Nice. Sakar says five across. I'm assuming you mean five down. Rearm. Get weapons again back to the military leader. A two leader two letter word and then three letter word. Rearm. I can try it. Get weapons again back to military leader. So that would be like a double definition again. Yep. Yeah. That's good, Sakar. Okay, I'm I'm gonna kinda of hold off on the giving of the cookies for the cryptic crossword because I'm I want to also get better at these too. Uh any other indicator words for anagram racket for one one's playing not quite sure it's okay I got you five down 12 across is remark observation concerning German currency oh so re and then mark for the German currency okay now that helps because we have some of the letters in there. Let me just confirm. Yep. 12 is a remark. Okay, let's do 10 across since we've got a two out of the five letters. Let everyone go to town center. Let everyone go to town center. So the definition can be, could be town center is the definition side. Cryptic is let everyone go to town. 10 is alley. Could be. A L L E Y. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, the answer is allow. Oh, Evan Penn got it. Allow. Let everyone go to town center. Let everyone go. So they're, okay. So I guess all OW. OW might be an abbreviation. I'm, I'm not familiar. There are certain abbreviations that you learn over time to get that uh, are used in these cryptic crosswords. The answer is allow. But I, I'd, I'd like to spend time on trying to figure out what the cryptic side is. Let everyone go to town. So all... OW might have something to do with town center. Oh no, town center. All, let everyone, and then go to the center of town. O town, T O W N. All, and then O W is the center of town. The word town. Okay, I feel good now. Seven down is sewn. News broadcast that stitched together. Okay, stitched together. Anagram of news. I'm, I think you got that one. Sewn. Anagram of the word news. News broadcast that stitched together. Let me confirm. Yes. Sewn. Good job, Sakar. All right, let's look at this three across since we've got a lot of the words. Squatter composing chamber music. Squatter composing chamber music. I'm going to look up composing as an indicator word for something. Composing. Composed. It's an anagram indicator. Okay. Squatter composing chamber music. A squat. Squatter is four letters. Okay. So I bet it's a quartist. Q U A R T E S T. Well then it doesn't work it doesn't work for um yeah quartet quartet but then where's the uh ah <laughs> whoops <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do 
All right, this one we had. That one we had. This one we had. Dang it. This one we had. Reveal. Reveal. Man. Quartets. Q U A R T E T S. Quartets. So composing is an indicator that squatter is to be uh, anagrammed. And chamber music is the, the definition side. Look up, I said it already, quartets. Okay, you did, you did. Yep, yep, Sassy got it. All right, uh, okay, hopefully I... I got most of them back. <laughs> okay, this one we had, Evelyn Turner, Celia... I don't recognize any other ones. <clears throat> all right, I got them all. All right, this nine, two words, actors on holiday begin a voyage. Actors on holiday begin a voyage. It's a four-letter word and a three-letter word. Nine, something off. Oh, take off. But actors on holiday? Cast off. Actors. Actors on holiday. So that would be a double definition then. Cast off. Reveal word. Yep. Cast off. You got it. Yeah, you know. Yep, 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 yep. All right, what do we want to do? Yeah, Christopher Robin, you got it. You got to start off. Uh, do we want to do ones? Cast like actors. Yep, yep, yep. So the cast off and then cast from actors. Go on holiday, British term for going on vacation. Four letter word graduate following copper in Ireland. Or graduate instead of graduate. Following copper in island. Following copper. Copper, we might have to use those abbreviations, the element symbol for copper. And then it might be some, uh, <clears throat> might be some abbreviation for graduate. Head. Chemical elements sorted by name. Copper is CU. Cuba, graduate following copper in island. Cuba, C U B A. Whoops. Cuba. The answer is Cuba. Mm hmm. C U and then B A. Cuba. Both Sakar and Sassy. Good. Let's do one down since we got the first letter for that one. Two birds seen at dawn. Eight letter word. It's an eight letter word. Oh, Bachelor of Arts degree. B A. So C U for copper and then B A for a graduate. Nice. All right, good. I'm, I'm glad you guys are, are sticking with me here. Because uh, these are the kind of things could be used in some treasure hunts. And I've seen them used in certain treasure hunts. BA for degree. Bachelor of Arts. Two birds seen at dawn. Two birds seen at dawn. So the definition could be at dawn. The definition it could be two birds. Two birds seen at dawn. Mm. I'm not sure. We'll come back to that. Oh, this one was Celia. One word. C. 
cocoons. C-O-C-C. C-O-C-C-O-O-N-S. Not quite. Two down is basil. A herb for Mr. Faulty. Oh, Faulty Towers? Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with the... It is basil, Laurie James. Old school crossword question. Two birds seen at dawn. Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> Coco Puff almost works. Two birds seen at dawn. Eight letter word. Two birds. Hmm. Let's go to 14 across. Essex Porter in New Train. Six letter word and seven letter word. Six letter word and a seven. Seven letter word begins with E. Essex Porter. In new train. Don't know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and see what the answer is for one down. Cock crow. Cock crow. Two birds. Okay. Cock for rooster and crow for bird. Seen at dawn. Oh, and a cock, a rooster crows at dawn. Oh, jeez. All right. I think this might be one of those new words. Cock crow. The hour that a, of cock crow was still far off. Liter literally means dawn. Cockcrow. Boy, that's a term I haven't heard of before. Which is definition is dawn. Okay. Yeah, if it's old, it's old school crossword question. It's, it's pretty old for me. All right, we're going to do eight down. Six letter word. We have an O and an A in the middle. Realm in which no maid is in distress. Realm in which no maid is in distress. I'm kind of thinking no maid is an anagram. Cockrow. Which means dawn. Okay. Fourteen across is Orient Express, says Sakar. It's a British thing. That sounds like a British thing, too. Essex Porter, Orient Express. Oh, Orient Express, is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's another Essex Porter Inn, that's. Okay, it's another anagram, okay. Good job, Sakar. Evan Penn says domain. No maid, D O M A domain. No maid, domain. Okay, it is another indicator. I mean, a uh, anagram. So realm is the definition side. Is in distress means it's an is an indicator. It's an anagram, and no maid. Okay, we got a lot of anagrams on this one. Let's keep going. We've got fifteen down. We have a seven-letter word. And the clue is one who doesn't believe in Castro. Oh, I think I, all right. I think I got this one. Infidel, one who doesn't believe in Castro. Infidel. Sort of like a double definition, infidel, right? I'm going to go ahead and get that one. Okay, good. Infidel, one who doesn't believe in Castro. <laughs> Christopher Robin. We're all we're trying to get better at these, Christopher Robin. The only way we're gonna get better at them is to do some. Country seen when one's left Indonesia, take out ones you have India. Country seen where? Hmm. 
country where native leader is seen in Roman costume. Seen when one's left Indonesia. Oh, and that one is India. Oh, India. So you take out the middle part of Indonesia and you get India. I-N-D-A. Yep, correct. Christopher Robinson might be able to get 16. All right, 16. Compound left by smoker of marijuana. We're looking for a six-letter word. Begins with a P. Compound left. All right, sometimes when it's left, it means to go a word that means compound, and then you go left, meaning backwards. Yep, I got 22 across. India, I got you, Sassy. Compound left by smoker of marijuana. Compound, I'm not sure if the definition is compound or if the definition is the marijuana. Potash, says Silver Fox. That's what Silver Fox says. Let's see what the answer is. That's what the answer is. Compound left by smoker of marijuana. Okay, so pot and the what's left over is ash. So pot and ash. Nice, nice. Who, who had that? Silver Fox. That was a good job. Pot and then ash. That's the compound left by smoker of marijuana. Lori James says prison. All right, 19 across. Country where native leader is seen in Roman costume. Country where native leader is seen in Roman costume. Five letters. Okay, I'm seen in makes me think it's a hidden word or it's a container. Country where native leader is seen in Roman costume. Five letters. Begins with a T. Your prison compound left. By, oh, prison compound. Uh, prison compound. I got you, Lori James. <laughs> Country where native leader, whoops. Country where native leader is seen in Roman costume. Roman costume, toga? Except it's, it's uh, not enough letters. Tonga, togas? Tonga, toga plus N. Well, that makes, makes me think Tong, oh, Tonga, where you put it in, okay. Native leader, N, the abbreviation for native leader, N, in, okay, so Tong, Tonga. Let me just confirm. Yep, Tonga. Good job, guys. I might have had a visual hint nearby. <laughs> okay, Silver Fox. Uh, let's do 20 down. How are we doing time? I've only got a couple more minutes left. We'll keep going. What does 23 say? 23 says, is able to grow wild like an animal. Is able to grow wild like an animal. Something, no, I was going to say like a weed. Uh, grows like a weed. Grow wild. It's able to grow like an animal. 17 across. Hard work put in by chef for T. Effort. E-F-F-O-R-T. Correct. 23 across. It's able to grow wild like an animal.
is able to grow wild like an animal. It's able, do we anagram it's able? I see a B and an S in there. Maybe. Oh, it's able, bestial, it's, it is an anagram, okay. Bestial. Let me just confirm. Yep. So it's another anagram. You're supposed to anagram. So grow wild. Wild made me think it was a anagram, you know, mix up kind of thing. And you're supposed to anagram it's able. And like an animal, it was the definition side. Oh, you can't read them? I, oh, man. I don't think I can make them any bigger. I'm sorry about that, Silver Fox. It's about as big as I can make them. Bestial. It's okay. I, I had it. I got you, Sassy. All right. I think I'm going to have to end it there. I hope everybody enjoyed Cryptic Crosswords. Uh, I won't do these all the time, but I, I do want to get better at these because these will, you know, you can see these uh, anagrams, hidden words, containers, uh, even new words. See, we knew, I learned cockrow today, which means dawn. It's probably a British term, but it's English. We get we got to get better at these things. Uh, coming up in a couple minutes, Cal Lazars and K Pro are over on their channel, The Hint of Riches. Um, they're doing a uh, they're answering like a Q and A about their um, their movie that they're working on, the documentary for. Uh, the treasure hunt for Forrest Fenn. I hope you had everybody heads over to the hint of riches coming up in a couple minutes. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I hope you had some fun. I hope you, you enjoyed these puzzles and riddles. I will see you again next time on Purtle Monday, the best day of the week. Take care, everybody.